I'm Mike Zani from Portsmouth, Rhode Island. Grew up doing all sorts of sailing from you know, beetle cats and sunfish and opties. We did a lot of college sailing and team racing and 505s and A-cats. Vela was a Graves Constellation. Great boat, um, really beautiful. We raced against five of them in the fleet, and one of them, Vela, came up for sale. The boat leaked like a sieve, and blisters were reforming on the bottom. So we bought this boat and we raced it in the entirety of last summer uh, in its nat in natural state. We just had a great time. It's, it's this gorgeous hull. Selman Graves of Graves Yacht Yard of Marblehead would build a wooden deck on top of a uh, glass hull. And as legend has it, Graves Yacht Yard, which makes a lot of famous large custom boats, when they weren't busy they would build these Graves constellations as little fill projects. And they built 27 of them, uh, really well built, uh, very thoughtfully built. Again, it's early fiberglass, so it was a situation where, you know, it's, it's three quarters of an inch thick glass on the hull. The deck and the cabin house was completely saturated. The wood was completely wet, delaminated in some spots. And, we were trying to fix the leaks and redo the cabin house a little bit, but there was just, if you kept cutting back, there was no healthy spot. We sort of looked into, do we sell the boat, buy a different graves? What do we do? Do we just race it as a beater and hope she doesn't sink or fall apart in the process? So we recruited some experts, because this project was going to be way above what I could have done myself. It was uh, some real wooden boat building this time. Ezra started putting some drawings together. He says, you know, we could really make this boat not only more beautiful and unlock a lot of beauty in the hull, but we could fundamentally fix it. We approached Dan Shea uh, from Bristol Boat Company, who's just a, a fantastic builder. He said, I'd really love to do this project this winter because I want to cut the entire deck off all the way back to the hull to deck joint and build a completely new deck out of uh, marine ply on frames. When it was designed, it was a 29 and a half foot boat that was sort of like a weekender that you could day race. And we turned it into a day racer that you could sleep on. We call it a little like Wednesday night pocket rocket. <laughs> 